hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to continue with our catfish shoot formulation video series this is our part six of the series as i promised in the previous video we are going to understand the importance of feed additives in fish feed as well as how to calculate them during feed formulation the feed additives we are going to discuss in this video are methionine lysine salt fish premix DCP that is the calcium phosphate vitamin C and then the importance of adding drug in your own feed In today's video, I'm going to show you how to effectively add those feed additives in your fish feed But if you are new to this channel Don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification icon and if you are getting value in this video Please like this video and also share it with your friends and family also check the description of this video and download my fish feed formulation blueprint that I never share with anybody. A blueprint that will help you achieve 1 kg fish using just 1 kg feed in relatively 4 to 5 months. Let's look at the additives and how their presence in fish feed enhances growth and prevention of diseases. The number one we are going to look at in this video is methionine. Methionine is an amino acid that is found in protein. It is essential in fish feed for growth and for maintaining the health of the fish. It is used to complement its shortage in a natural protein source like soya beans. To calculate the volume of methionine in fish feed, it is recommended to use 1 kg of methionine for every 1000 kg of fish feed. Now, you may decide to formulate a quantity of feed less than the 1000 kg so now the formula to use that will suit the quantity you want to produce is just the amount to be formulated now divided by the 1000 so the value you get will give you the required amount of methionine to be added to your own feed based on your own quantity for example we are using 200 kg of feed that is we want to formulate 200 kg of feed now the amount of methionine to be added now will be 200 divided by 1000 then we are going to have 0 0.2 kg of methionine to be added in 200 kg of feed this is the formula and then this formula is also applicable to lysine so if you want to calculate the amount of lysine that's the same thing you do so no need of calculating that one of the lysine since it is a practical applicability of this formula the second thing we are going to look at is the fish premix fish premix for you to ensure adequate presence of minerals and vitamin in feed fish premix need to be added to that particular feed in every feed you are formulating so it is recommended to add 1 kg of fish premix for every 200 kg of feed so the formula you are going to use that will suit the quantity you want to formulate is quantity to be formulated divided by 200 kg. For example, you need to, you decided to formulate 20 kg of feed. All you have to do is take 20 divided by 200. Now you get 0 0.1 kg of fish premix to be added to 20 kg of feed. That is how you do it to suit the quantity you decided to formulate. The third thing we are going to look at in this video is salt. Yes, the normal table salt, you know. Salt in fish feed is added to increase appetite. That is to make the, the fish eat more, enhances growth. Once the fish can be able to eat more of the feed, then it will enhance the growth as well as regulate osmotic pressure. A recommended amount of salt to be added is for every 15 kg you add three full tablespoon of a table salt i hope this is clear the next thing we are going to look at is for vitamin c you know lack of vitamin c in fish feed result in broken head that is why you do have a lot of problem in your fish stock having a broken head this as a result of lack of vitamin c so it is recommended that 0 0.1 kg of vitamin C should be added to every 100 kg of feed. So vitamin C is very important during formulation of fish feed to avoid broken head in your own stock. Very important. The next thing we are going to look at is drug. 
This is a feed additives that is added to the fish feed to increase their health and improve their performance. Sometimes even if the fishes are sick, we do incorporate some antibiotics to the feed in order to cure that particular disease. And then another importance of drug in the fish feed is it boosts their immune system. That is, it prevents them from being infected by pathogens or other uh, fish diseases. So, it is very important that you incorporate it, drug in your own feed. It is not compulsory, but it is necessary. Antibiotics such as oxytetracycline is recommended. And then for you to add this, you have to add for every 15 kg, you should add one sachet. That is the whole 10 capsule of it. So now you add one sachet, that is 10 capsule. Now you open the capsule and then add the powder to the feet. So it's the powder that is of very important. So it's the powder that we need in the feet. That is how you add drugs to your own feet. The next thing we are going to look at in today's video is dicalcium phosphate. This is also a limiting mineral in the fish diet and this must be supplied in the right proportion to avoid it deficiency. So now for you to add dicalcium phosphate, what you all have to do is just take 10 kg of DCP, that is the dicalcium phosphate, to 1000 kg of feed. Now the formula to be used is you take 10, multiply it by amount to be formulated, now you divide it by 1000 kg. This is what will give you the amount of dicalcium phosphate to be added in the feed. So all these things I'm talking about, they are synthetic. The, the, the methionine, the lysine, they are all found in the market. And as you can see, I will show you the pictures of those particular uh, feed additives. The dicalcium phosphate is also in powdered form. It is also found in the market. It is synthetic. The reason why we are adding these things is that we do have some little amount of them in our natural ingredients. But it is not as adequate as we want to meet the nutritional requirement of the fish. So what we are expected to do is that we supplement those deficiency by the synthetic ones in the market so as we have the balance uh, requirement, the balance nutrient that we need to have at the end of our formulation. That is why it is very important and that is what people are not telling you most of the people in the YouTube are not disclosing this secret to you. And even the feed meal, most of them do not add this particular feed additives in the right proportion because they want to maximize their own profit, they want to make money. So if you are formulating your own feed yourself, it is necessary that you consider adding those particular feed additives as this will enhance your growth. That is why I said I have never shared my feed formulation blueprint to everybody that is why i advise you to go to the description of this video and download it and then see what it inside it is very important as a fish farmer to understand the logistics and the secret that it entails to formulate your own feed as i have usually said in my previous videos that feed formulation is far more than just adding feed ingredients together it requires for it requires you to have some technical skills some technical knowledge in order to produce quality feed that will give you what you are expecting at the end of the production cycle so if you can follow me throughout this video series you will be able to produce a quality feed that will enhance more growth and then give you what you want at the end of the production cycle so if you are new to this channel i recommend you to subscribe to this channel also, if you are getting value from this video, you like this video, share it with your friends and family and then head over to the description of this video and download my exact uh, secret on the feed formulation. That is the blueprint I am using myself to achieve massive results. See you in the next video.